and I'm doing it for my daughter. Private account says, my father recently passed away and I've been lost ever since. I'm 25, I'm a fiber optic cable slicer. I lost over 100 pounds and I've got my own place, but I still feel pretty hopeless and lost in the world. Do you have any advice for me? There's a time and a place to become a mercenary fighting in Ukraine. And it sounds like you've reached that. Not, what is this? Read it again. I'm 25. My father passed away. I'm a fiber optic cable slicer. I lost over 100 pounds since he died. Uh, I've got my own place, but I still feel pretty hopeless and lost in the world. Any advice? Well. Oh, shit. Just knock that kid out. He's trying to get him with a knife. Chain attack. Look at this. Yes. Kill him. Um. Oh. Oh, that is that hurts bad. Hmm. Hmm. How do they defend against the punch? I like the thing you, you said about, um, like, uh, knowing that you're, whoever, whoever you, you've lost doesn't want you to be sad about them being gone. They just want you to go harder, like, go harder for them. I think that's the best way. But I, mean, I haven't lost... Listen, Anyone finding being being lost and not having any bearings as a young man. That's like the hardest. Uh, that's uh, potentially the hardest thing you'll ever have to deal with. It's not even necessarily just that you lost your father, but um, just being feeling rudderless or uh, directionless in your mid twenties. Um, that's kind of the age where you realize how uh, potentially hopeless that if, you, if you're early 20s or you're in your late teens and you're rudderless or directionless it's still fun but once you get into your mid 20s and you're directionless or feeling lost you're more cognizant of how uh, hopeless that situation potentially could be so that's very uh, that's a tight spot um but I think you might just have to suffer. Um, that those those feelings, you know, those those will go away once you um, <clears throat> if you avoid drugs and alcohol, and you you try to be reasonably um, sort of aware of what paths the f your future might. Uh, like as, as long as you're not ignoring the consequences of whatever sort of drudgery or, or th thing it is, a uh, state that you're caught in, you'll end up fine. But there's, there's some things where you just have to suffer through them. There's not really a trick or any kind of um, thing that any, anybody can say um, to uh, make, you, make you feel better or give you any kind of perspective. I think if you're 25 and you are um, rudderless and your dad just died, that you probably just life, your life sucks and you're just going to have to um, suffer through it until you're, until, uh, you know, the, your fortunes change or the tide changes, which it inevitably d uh, will. So just remember that, you know, time heals all wounds, that, uh, a life really does change and um, do the best that you can and don't don't turn to substances or any any kind of empty crap to uh, fill that hole you know be comfortable with the fact that there's a hole there um, that's what I would say about that <laughs>